For all of them, music is a very important element in both religious and secular funerals, the notion of giving people a grief trigger to express their feelings. I was at a reading uh, in North Mayo a few years ago and Dermot Healy was performing with a friend of his, Peter Galligan, a fiddle player, and Dermot had these beautiful short poems and Peter played a kind of a hesitant, almost hoarse fiddle as if the fiddle had forgotten how to speak and was beginning to get its voice back. And very shortly after he came off the stage, he had a heart attack and died there in the community centre. And as soon as he'd been pronounced dead, the community kicked into ritual. People put candles around uh, Peter's body and Kathleen Shine, one of the women present, said a decade of the rosary in Irish. And then she nodded to Michal Shine, her husband, and he sang this Queen in a Dríbhwyrda. It is a religious song. It, it's about a thousand years old or more. Everything about the ritual was appropriate. And I think that's really what ritual has based on a thousand years of history. It serves its purpose. And in this particular instance, I found it enormously uplifting, I'd have to say. Oh, Queen and the Dree Wirra from an arena special last night on the rituals of death, presented by Sean Rocks and produced by Nola O'Neill.